We are continuing our commitment tonight to bringing you everything you need to know before Election Day, exactly two weeks from today. One of the big races in West Michigan is the 29th state Senate seat. 24 Hour News 8's political reporter Rick Alvin introduces us to the candidates. Two weeks before you go to the polls in Decision 2010, there are still a lot of races to talk about. We've been telling you for a long time that over in the Michigan Senate, there are going to be a lot of new faces. And one of the places where there'll be a new face, the 29th District, which is this part of Kent County. It's a seat currently held by Bill Hardiman, a Republican. He can't run again because of term limits. But there are three people who want your vote. The Democrat David Legrand, the Republican Dave Hildenbrand, and the Libertarian candidate Bill Gillenew. Now, here's what we're going to do. We're going to let you hear from each one of these these candidates a little bit about why they're running, what they think is the most important thing. Then when I come back, I'm going to tell you how you can find out a lot more information about this and other races in Decision 2010. The first and the most important is we have to get jobs back in this area. And I'm a small business guy. I started Wealthy Street Bakery a number of years ago, started uh, with partners, started for Friends Coffee House back in the day, uh, started a construction company that's still going. So I've actually created jobs around here. I've started businesses. I know what it takes. And now, more than any time I can remember, we need to get jobs. We need to get people back to work. We also are going to need serious reform in Lansing because I don't think Lansing is working well. Uh, two out of the last three years, they have haven't managed to pass a budget on time. We've got to get past the dysfunctional dynamic there, and we've got to have a group of people in Lansing who can plan long term. First is to attract jobs to Michigan. Um, that doesn't mean hire government jobs. It means create a better business environment so our job providers can hire more people. It's getting our taxes fixed and our regulations fixed so people are attracted to come here, to work here, and employ people here. Uh, secondly, we have to control government spending. Uh, we have a government that uh, is spending too much, where there's too much waste and inefficiencies in a number of our state programs. There are, I've identified many of them that I'd like to go after, uh, so we need to get our arms around government spending. So I think that the ideas that I bring to the game about a um, truly um, setting priorities about what we really need to do with our public finances is something I've talked about for a long period of time and I think I bring a lot of credibility on that issue and the n number of times that I've run in the past for both state senate and state house these have been a very consistent message that I've offered through good and bad times about the importance of developing a more lean posture in terms of how we spend public resources. The makeup of the state Senate and House will be crucial when it comes to drawing new lines for U.S. Congress and for those House and Senate seats during redistricting. So before you go to the polls, make sure that you go to a great website to get all the information you need on Decision 2010. It's michigan.onpoliticswithanx.com. And there you'll find all of the answers to the questionnaires that we ask the candidates to fill out. You'll also see some of their campaign postings, and you'll be able to take a look at your entire ballot so you know exactly what you're going to be asked to vote on two weeks from today in Decision 2010. 24 Hour News 8 is helping you compare the candidates for governor. One week from today, join us for To the Point, the race for governor. An hour-long conversation with Democrat Verge Bernero and Republican Rick Snyder. That's Tuesday, October 26th at 7 on Wood TV 8.